Alrighty. So this is going to be a reading for my Aries for August 17th through the 24th. Thank you guys so much for joining me back on my YouTube channel. This is going to be a general message. You guys already know how these readings work. Everything I say in this message may or may not pertain to you specifically. So take it with a grain of salt, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and get straight into it. Also, if you do want a personal reading with me and you are new and you don't already know, that information will be listed in the description box as well as the comment section to go ahead and book me. Um, also on that site, you can purchase like crystal healing jewelry or abundance uh, kits so that you guys can go ahead and attract more money. So definitely check that out if you're interested. So what's going on with my Aries love life for August 17th through the 24th? Aries. Give me two cards for the advice from my Aries love life for August 17th through the 24th. Whoa. Got to position it to where you guys can actually even see them. And give me a postcard for my Aries. What's the guidance that my Aries spirit guides want them to hear? For August 17th through the 24th. All right. So Aries for August 17th through the 24th. What I'm seeing for you guys for this week, there is going to be a lot of financial and material changes, whether that's you guys starting a new job. Um, for a lot of you guys, this could be you putting your hands into multiple things or finding a way to dive into multiple things financially. And for a lot of you guys, that will bring in some good financial changes for you. For others of you, if there has been like a drought financially or there has been some financial issues for some time and you want more for yourself financially, the universe is really asking you to make some necessary changes. Spread yourself out, try new things, or even put your hands into different things that you may have also wanted to explore here okay but for a lot of you guys I'm just seeing a lot of positive movement forward when it comes to financial things or anything to do with your career or anything that you're really passionate about okay um, and for a lot of you guys this is not something that's like you know overnight success or for a lot of you guys this is an overnight money this is an overnight okay I'm popping okay I this is like rags I don't want to say rags to riches it is like a rags to riches type of thing going on here, but it's not like an overnight type of thing. For a lot of you guys, this is like hard work that you've been putting in for years or, you know, last seven months you've been really grinding because then the number seven is really standing out to me. Um, for a lot of you guys as well, this is like you having that determination to focus on the goal that you have set in your mind. And with that focus, this is you being able to feel successful and to feel, you know, like you're on the path towards achieving what you want to achieve in life. A lot of you guys as well this week, you may be planning for some moves that you want to make in the future, whether this is like you opening another business, like say you have a business right now and you may want to open up like, say, like an extension of that business or you want to add like stuff to um, some sort of like creative thing that you may be into. I just feel like there's a need for you guys to be patient when it comes to creating, you know, that second leg to your business or you creating the first business to begin with. Um, it's going to take a level of patience and also proper planning. So make sure you guys are overseeing all the details, um, really taking the time to also predict how certain markets are going to be, especially if you are working in any sort of job of that sort, so that you guys can make sure you're not um, fucking yourself, basically. <laughs> okay. Um, another thing I am seeing for you guys as well, this week may require you guys to make some sacrifices. So with this 
Say, for instance, you're someone who's trying to move. You may have to make some sacrifices to not spend money as much this week. You may you may have to eat the ramen noodles this week. All right. For some of you guys as well, this may be you like having to sacrifice spending so much time out with your friends or, you know, your boyfriend or what have you so that you can focus on work. But for a lot of you guys, there is some necessary sacrifices that you do need to make so that you guys can go ahead and secure your happiness for in the future as well. Not just for right now. Also, for a lot of you guys as well, I feel like your spiritual strength is impeccable. <laughs> like for a lot of you guys, you know that you have this like strong spiritual connection with your spirit guides or the divine and you know that they're always going to support you and your spiritual strength may even be supporting you in moments where, you know, a lot of shit may come up against you. But I feel like a lot of you guys are really, really strong in that regard. Now, let's actually go over this postcard that I pulled for you guys for the energy you guys may run into for this week, okay? So this is a postcard from your spirit, guys. This is a deck is called Postcards from Your Spirit or Postcards from Spirit. And let's see what this says. So it says, dearest you, there are times you get lost but refuse to see your part in things. Happens to everyone. Something feels familiar but sort of off. If you're feeling confused, it's best to throw away the map you're using, which only lets you navigate based on your past experiences. This isn't what you need right now. Instead, instead, take a deep breath and open to the truth. A desire to stay in denial means that part of you doesn't want to be responsible for the pattern that shows up in your life. Yes, this is the right time to wake up and start again. By the way, you always get another chance and you have unlimited chances to start again. We love you so much. We really do. Be gentle with yourself. Coming out, of in de coming out of denial is like being temporarily blinded by super bright lights. Allow your eyes to adjust. Carry on, special one. A beautiful life awaits. Loving you so, so much. So for a lot of you guys with this postcard, I'm just really getting this feel of a need for you guys to come out of denial when it comes to certain things that you guys may be feeling off about and you haven't been addressing it. You haven't been addressing it and... You're really only hurting yourself by staying in denial, okay? This could even be you denying yourself of things that you know you want, but you may be making excuses for why you can't get it or excuses for why you don't want it as much, you know, trying to like trick yourself out of making some important decisions and understand that you get unlimited chances to do things over. So even if you make the wrong choice, there's a chance for you to redeem yourself always. It's really just what you do. Uh, moving forward when it comes to any obstacles or issues that come up against you. Now, let's go ahead and look at your love life and we'll actually get into the full spread. So what I do see for your love life, we have soulmate and it says, yes, this is a soulmate. And we also have flirt. It says, extend your lighthearted energy to others. So for a lot of you Aries, you are dealing with a soulmate partner um, who you have a deep connection with. For some of you guys, um, it's going to be two, two scenarios for certain Aries. Some of you guys are dealing with a soulmate and you may be very flirty with this person. You guys may be in really good high spirits and everything may be good. For others of you, there may be like some sort of like defensive energy that may be coming off of somebody and there may be a need for you guys to be more flirty and more open to the connection, okay? But for a lot of you guys, um, I'm just definitely seeing that you have a true connection with someone. This may be someone from your past that may be coming back around with the reconciliation or just someone who's in your present life who you may have just taken a break from for some time. And I'm definitely seeing that there is playful energy and joyful energy coming in in that area. And for a lot of you guys, you may have moments where you're not optimistic about it, but the universe is saying you deserve love and that you should embrace this love relationship. And what I have for the advice, I do have surrender. It says, at times we must surrender the old before new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work. And we have your dream is about to soon become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. And this is manifesting miracles. So for a lot of you guys, you need to surrender the old, old experiences that you have gone through. Yes, understand the lesson 
for why they happen, but don't let yourself be a slave to those circumstances because that's going to keep you from meeting someone who could actually be pretty good for you. And I feel like you guys are manifesting your dream relationship or the person that you've always dreamt of, but there's a need for you to really trust your heart and also allow yourself to be in love or allow yourself to enjoy the relationship, I should say. So let's go ahead and get into a full spread. What's going on with my Aries for August 17th through the 24th, please? What are my Aries experiencing for August 17th through the 24th? Okay, so energy coming into this week, last week's energy, the guidance, the op score issue, and the outcome. Alrighty, so bottom of the deck, Aries, I'm getting a sense for a lot of you guys, you are seeking clarity when it comes to some sort of relationship that you have, um, again, some sort of soulmate tied to... Or like for a lot of you guys, you could even be starting communication up with someone who you're building a relationship with. And you are trying to remain hopeful when it comes to the foundation of your relationship. And you may be overlooking things as to, okay, where are these certain issues coming up from? Because for some of you guys, there could be like sudden issues coming up for some reason. And you could be feeling a little disappointed as to some sort of connection you may have with the water sign that may be, again... A little defensive this person may be a little defensive or you may even be a little defensive towards this person because you could feel like okay there's issues coming up out of nowhere between you guys when they weren't there before okay but i'm um, coming into this week i do have the four of swords with this you may be taking some sort of time to mentally process some things even make some decisions this may even be like you taking a break from work to figure out what's your next plan of action all right, but really taking some time for your own mental clarity. This could even be you taking time from some sort of way about a relationship that may have ended. This could be like a marriage or a family situation that may not be all the way together for some of you guys. Like you could have some issues with some family members. You could be anxious about that. This could even be, again, a lack of happiness or you feeling emotionally complete with someone or like the relationship falling apart and you being anxious about it. But I feel like there is a new opportunity for you to fix things with this person um, if you guys really put the work in. Now, what I am seeing for last week's energy, I do have the hermit. So with the hermit, for a lot of you guys, you may have went into a space of introspection or wanted to go into a space of introspection or needed to. Um, and clarifying that, hold on, we got cards that keep falling everywhere. Hold on, guys. Whew. All right, hold on. Okay, so going back to what I was saying, with the Hermit card being in last week's energy's position, clarified by the Eight of Coins, yeah, you could have went into your own space to really focus on your work, whatever you were working on here um, and with the world card, you could have also realized certain lessons when it came to certain things that you may have um, kept running into in your work area or in the way that you may have gone, you may have been going about uh, building your relationship with certain people. Okay. Um, but what I am seeing for the guidance, I do have the king of cups here um, with this. You guys could be dealing with a water sign, a cancer Pisces or a Scorpio but with this, for a lot of you guys, there's a need for you to really tap into your emotional maturity. Make sure you're not dealing with situations from an immature standpoint. Um, also, ex exercising emotional intelligence as far as like, okay, whenever things emotionally upset you instead of lashing out, dealing with it from a mature standpoint and understanding that everything that happens doesn't need or doesn't warrant an emotional response. If that makes sense. Um, clarifying that, I have 
Yeah, I have the high priestess. So this is knowing when to knowing when to express yourself emotionally or from like how do I say this? This is like knowing when and when not to handle situations from an emotional standpoint. Certain things do not need you to handle it from an emotional standpoint. And also this is you guys also tapping into your intuition when it comes to certain things that may be coming up this week. Um, but beyond that, what I am seeing for the off score issue you guys may run into, we do have the tower with this. This may be you guys not building your foundation on strong, on strong grounds. So there may be a need for you guys to check in with that. Also, this may even be like your relationship with like, for some of you guys, you have some huge mother issues. I'm gonna just be straight up. <laughs> like some of you guys, you have some huge mother issues. This may be you. Like as a mother, you may not know how to go about that or like, again, issues with your actual mother. And this may be a problem with you actually fixing it because this may be karmically in your life for you to learn certain lessons. Um, and also, if you are like the mother or you're a mother and you have children, there may be issues with you working things out with somebody who you may possibly have kids with. That may be a thing as well. But um, for the outcome of this week, I do have the eight of coins. So with the eight of coin or the eight of cups, excuse me, with the eight of cups here, a lot of you guys will be walking away from things that don't emotionally support you anymore or hold weight in your life anymore. I also feel as if you guys are yeah, definitely going to be walking away from situations where there's deception as well um, or like actually walking away from things now that you've been avoiding walking away from and really like acting as if you didn't know that you had to do it, but you will be walking away from it and completing a huge cycle here. So for a lot of you guys, yes, there is going to be a huge completion here of a much needed cycle, but that's what I'm seeing. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope that I was able to give you some sort of guidance or clarity as to what's to come. If this does resonate, please make sure you like this video and comment below and subscribe. And if you do want a personal, that information will be listed below. Thank you guys. And I'll talk to you later.